How we doing guys? I'm going to show you the clamshell. Now, you can resist the movement with the mini band, but I recommend just doing it on air first to make sure you have the range of motion. This is abduction and external rotation of the hip. If you've ever done knee rehab with a physical therapist, you've probably done this movement before. So, when we're doing this, we don't want to roll our pelvis back. I'll show you a back view here. We don't want to do this. We don't want this pelvis moving. I want to see, you want to see, how far you have done the extra routine to hit before your pelvis wants to roll back. You should have pretty close to about 90 degrees between femur and the ground and then the other leg. It should be almost 90 degrees, maybe a little less. Some of our less mobile people. Check left and check right. And if you find it, if you find that it's restricted, something you can do is oh, this is easier with a partner. You can do it with yourself. But if you've got a partner, have them grab the inside of your, of the inside of your leg. You'll contract into their hand. Take a deep breath in. Relax. Now, what that'll do is it'll open the leg. Some people respond really well to contract, relax. If you find that you don't, have your partner pull your leg till you feel a stretch. And if you do feel a stretch, mobilize whatever it is that's stretched. And then do the stability exercise afterwards. Once you've established that you've got the range of motion in the clamshell, you can resist it. I recommend that you do. And... Abduct, externally rotate the hip. I don't recommend crushing this before lift. Just make sure it moves, warm it up a little bit. A lot of people who, when they squat, one second. You may have seen the other video where I talk about knees collapsing on the squat. So if you find that when you're squatting, your knees are collapsing, a lot of the reason people collapse their knees when they squat is because they don't have good abduction and external rotation of the hip, it's limited. Now if your abduction and external rotation of the hip is limited, what do you think is going to happen when you go down? You're going to have limited abduction and external rotation, the body's going to go to hip internal rotation. So, make sure you've got abduction and external rotation of the hip before we squat. 